Well, there's four political Islam terror organizations who uh, uh, are traditionally opposing Israel. Uh, they, for slightly different reasons, but the number one terror organization is Iran, that, that's Shiites. Uh, but the number two is Muslim Brotherhood, which is Sunnis, uh, financed by Turkey and Qatar. So uh, they're uh, an equal problem uh, uh, to Iran. Uh, the third terror organization is Al-Qaeda ISIS, uh, physical terrorists. And, and the fourth would be the Saudi Wahhabis, who are more of a cultural terror organization, who are actually beginning to flip. And, and, and I, I'd say they're a third of their way through the process of flipping of trying to figure out how to join Western civilization, we should encourage that fourth terror organization to flip. They, they now have the leadership that understands uh, the necessity of doing that. On a political note, so the, 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 the Saudi prince, Salman, came to, uh, to America and uh, put on a reformation show saying he's going to let uh, women uh, drive cars in exchange for a billion dollars in American uh, arms. Um, but on the other hand, don't the Saudis support the Wahhabism in the mosques throughout Western Europe and North America? Yeah, uh, I mentioned that Saudi Arabia is one third, in the third inning, so to speak, of reforming itself. It has, I'm, I'm watching for the next six innings. I want to see the imams reformed. I want the mosques reformed. I want the schools reformed. I want the books reformed. I want Saudi Arabia, for their benefit, to join Western civilization, become normal. Uh, and uh, we should do everything possible to encourage that uh, progress. But in the same way that Mahmoud Abbas said, uh, I'm not going to be uh, drinking tea with uh, Anwar Sadat by recognizing a Jewish state. Um, Aren't the Saudi royals in jeopardy? In fact, many of the monarchies in the uh, uh, Islamist countries, aren't they in jeopardy of modernizing, uh, whether it be recognizing Israel or accepting America as an ally? Sure, look, look at the Soviet Union. Okay, the Soviet Union was a dictatorship. Gorbachev had this idea that he could reform the dictatorship. Great idea. It led to his demise. It led to the demise of the Soviet Union. No. Not as a, as a superstructure, not as a people, not as a culture. The Russian culture is doing just fine. But yes, when you go through revolutions like that, even if you're a benevolent dictator, it, it can cause your own demise. Very tricky thing to do. And so, like Gorbachev. Yeah, so Gorbachev, he, he's, he's lucky that he's living, right? right. He's lucky that the, the evil forces there didn't kill him. Yeah. And, and wonderfully for the world and wonderfully for the people of Russia, he, he created this revolution. Yeah. But I'm just saying from the bad guy point of view, and Putin has said this, that it, it, it was a tragedy for the Soviet Union to uh, um, self-destruct. Well, would that example prohibit other Muslim leaders from taking steps to modernize or accept Israel or both? Very good. Now you know why they're in the third inning and not in a hurry to be in the fourth inning, fifth inning, and sixth inning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They, uh -huh. they, uh, but are they able, able to, to go beyond it? Well, the question is, do they want to become normal or not? Do they want to have a country that works yeah. or a country that doesn't work? Yeah. And uh, uh, ultimately, they're going to be forced uh, by the forces of moderniz modernization uh -huh. <laughs> to become normal. Uh -huh. uh, uh, but you need some uh, brave leaders to uh, lead them through that process.